Hey, what's up all my Sagittarius people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, so I'm giving you guys a general love reading today. All right, so this is for anybody with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Um, I tell everybody tarot card readings are like advice. You either take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me, okay? Um, but this may not be a message for you, but it is a message for somebody, all right? So any cards that I use, any information about personal readings, that's listed in the description box below, all right? So also, I want to tell you guys that I will be giving away seven free readings seven free 30 minute readings on october 27th that's next wednesday for me hitting 7,000 subscribers so that's my way to say thank you i hope you guys will tune into that live at a chance to win a free re reading with me okay so let's get this thing started sagittarius see what y'all got going on in your love life let's see okay Gemini, I think. Okay, little Gemini going on. I think. So somebody's being vocal. Virgo, I analyze. Leo, I will. I get some heavy manifestation energy, I feel. Somebody's being very vocal. I think somebody has a thought about something, analyzed the situation, and determined something, and now they're expressing how they feel. You have the sun energy. So more Leo energy. But your sun can be a Leo, Cancer, Virgo, Gemini. Or your North Node could be um, Cancer, Virgo, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius. And then you have Air Element communicating. So that's uh, Sagittarius, uh, not Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, okay? All right, you guys. So we're going to pull some overall energy. All right, from the Brow Tellage. Yeah, somebody's really focused on their future, happiness, um, being satisfied, really being vocal <laughs> um, about what they want, who they want, what they don't want. All right, so let's see. Okay, already, okay. Dreaming. Waiting. Choosing. Yes, positive. Falling in love. Ooh, and one more, because that's five. I mean, they just all fell out. I was like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever, give me one more. And closing, okay, and giving. Okay. I don't know, I feel... I feel some type of way. I don't know. I feel like um, what you've manifested and waited for, you now have, now have the option to say yes. So you're now in the position to say yes to falling in love. It's like it's closing a chapter, maybe closing a chapter of looking or searching for something because it's found. And now being able to give with giving on the bottom, being able to give to something that you actually would like to give to. All right. So let's see what dreaming is. I'm going to use that um all that, the 90s tarot deck. Okay, so death energy, Scorpio, and the three of swords in reverse here. And the eight of pentacles is at the bottom in reverse. Like, so I feel like somebody has some type of realization, right? They're like, look, I got to change. I can't be unhappy anymore. I got to let people go. This Ace of Pentacles sideways. I, I feel like somebody say I need to start living. What's the three of swords here? Like, I feel like it, somebody I either has some type of bad dream or in the Seven of Wands is in reverse or some negative realization like like not negative realization but some some i almost feel like it's like 
foresight almost like you see yourself going down a certain path and it's like whoa wait a minute i need to kind of stop repeating the certain the certain patterns or cycles with certain people what's the seven of wands in reverse the seven of swords here and the three of wands in reverse yeah repeat the same cycles with the same people doing the same things to hurt you that's going to be four swords. Yeah, I feel like y'all are, are, are tired of waiting on conniving people or dealing with certain amounts of people, too. What's waiting? You have the Knight of Swords here in Wands here in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like your options... Uh, some of you guys may have just been disappointed in your options. You have the Tower card here. It's the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, your options have been like, oh, like, um, but then all of a sudden it's like, ooh, okay. Well, I wasn't kind of expecting this. I was blindsided by this with this Tower card here next to the Seven of Cups here in reverse because it's the Nine of Cups is here. This is giving me Two of Cups energy. Nine of Cups is at the bottom, so it's kind of like this unexpected like love offer that you've been waiting on because your options prior to had just been kind of like flighty in and out nothing was ever stable um or you really weren't interested in somebody too long you moved on kind of fast like look I, i'm not i'm not dealing with that because you're choosing what's choosing the six of pentacles in reverse the ten of pentacles in reverse and the moon in reverse pisces energy and that is that's seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like I'm not wasting y'all time or energy into putting anything to anybody. I feel like if if people don't want what you want, I feel like maybe you guys want families or stuff, or maybe some of your options don't, they're not family oriented or they don't they don't want kids or or you may want certain things that they don't really want. I feel like maybe th th some of these things have been revealed to you, maybe of recent, or somebody's just not putting into something um, or investing in something anymore. Five of Cups is in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom. Yeah, I felt that energy. But the Ten of Cups here in reverse is kind of like, and the Emperor in reverse is Aries energy. Page of Wands in reverse. So it's like choosing not to wait on anybody anymore. And I feel like somebody is kind of like, you know, well, I feel like maybe somebody actually too, after it's too late, trying to choose you now. Somebody didn't choose you before. So now that now they want to choose you or some shit like that. Yeah, right. I feel like somebody is very sad or very disappointed in losing something or someone. Why, what's the Five of Cups and the Emperor both in reverse? The Wheel of Fortune here in sideways. Yeah, the star here, Aquarius energy. Hmm. So yeah, I get it. Like this person, this person is trying to heal stuff from the past and get their Ten of Cups energy back. They realize what, what they did. So now they're choosing to kind of move forward, choosing to go this direction. It just took them so long with the Wheel of Fortune here. What's this? Yes, positive. The Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. The Ten of Wands came out sideways. So, so there's Ten of Swords here in reverse and the uh, Knight of Pentacles here in reverse and the Queen of Cups. So somebody is like, look, I may be single, <laughs> Um, but I'd rather remain single than to be with you with this Ten of Wands because it's like it's the same cycle over and over and over again. I think the positive part about it is you not saying yes to this person all the time, right? With this Queen of Cups here in reverse because this Ten of Swords is here in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. Like every time, like this person, it's this cycle is just over and over again. Like nothing ever completes. The Ten of Swords is here in reverse. The Ten of Wands is here in reverse. The Page of Wands is in reverse. The Hangman is here. It's too much. It's no stability. It's no movement. It's not. 
So it's like just doing the same thing over and over again with this person. So the positive, the yes, positive card, that's the positivity in you not saying yes, in my opinion. What's falling in love? Queen of Pentacles. So Capricorn towards Virgo energy. The King of Swords here. And the Knight of Swords here. And the Two of Wands here in reverse. I'm hearing that Jody C sign. Come and talk to me. I really want to meet you. Okay, look how he heading towards that that uh, King of Swords, though. But I feel like maybe somebody might be running from it. Like, this is their their weird side. Like, they come and talk to you, but, I mean, I really feel like maybe they then they run away. Look at this energy. Like, he going to talk to her, then he, like, just turn around and, like, run away. And maybe it's just overwhelming. I feel like this is a, definitely an overwhelming energy, but it's two of wands here, it's here in reverse. So I feel like somebody's definitely backtracking. What's this queen of pentacles? The eight of pentacles in reverse. I feel like maybe this queen of pentacles energy, she's not really uh, putting in a lot of effort. She feels like she shouldn't have to work hard to make something happen here with the judgment here. Maybe this person is very vocal about it. What's the King of Swords? You have the, the Five of Wands. I do get some type of internal conflict or some type of insecurity or something. What's the Knight of Swords? Ace of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, somebody's running away from their love, literally, or their feelings here with the sun. But, I mean, you can run. But you can't hide. That's how I feel. Like, you, somebody falling in love, but they trying to run away from it. Crazy. What's closing? The strip card in reverse. Somebody gives in. Five of Pentacles. Like, are you sure you want to choose me? I get, like, some type of insecurities. What's the strength card? The Six of Cups. But this person, somebody has like a repetitive pattern. Yes, the King of Wands here in reverse of doing the same shit over and over and over and over again. Jesus. The moon is here in reverse. This person is trying to get it right. They, I don't know if they just don't know how. Let's see. Well, what are you giving? Let me pick up that energy real quick. Giving nine of cups. The high priestess is in reverse. So giving, I guess you you are giving really what you want. Yeah. Beautiful energy. Because even the ten and the nine of cups, that's um 19. That's still a uh, ten of cups energy, like ultimate happiness. What's the high priestess? The nine of wands here is sideways and then the temperance here in reverse. So I do feel like there's some type of sacrifice um, that one needs to make in order to be in this situation. So it could be like self-sacrifice with your time, feelings or something. There's something, there's some type of compromisation that this person needs in order for this to work or it's, it's the opposite way. Or maybe you need this person to um understand something but I, I ultimately get this compromise all right so let's clear this So first, I'm going to pull out a lyric and clear that up, you guys. First, I got to pull out a lyric for you guys and then one for 
your person. So alert for my Sagittarius people. Okay, y'all got a lot to say. So two lyrics. 112 anywhere, okay. I can love you in the shower, both of our bodies dripping wet on the patio. We can make a night you won't forget on the kitchen floor as I softly pull your hair. We can do it anywhere. Anywhere, baby. I love the way your body feels. You know, he always saw through his nose, right? Okay, don't mind me, y'all. Uh, Jasmine Sullivan featuring Bryson Tiller, <laughs> Insecure. You be way too controlling. Got me feeling like I can't breathe. I can't even hang with the homie. Ain't no reason not to trust me. I'm your lady, not your slave. You my man, not my slave. Uh, no, it says, you my man, not my master. I'll escape thinking, who can I run to? Got me looking for a new dude with a chill vibe or a nice time who could lay back, who don't pick fights, who ain't insecure, okay? Jasmine Sullivan, insecure, okay? So what about them? I feel like somebody said, like, just because I do this stuff with you, I don't do it with nobody else. Why is you, I feel like, why are you pressing me or something? Like, why are you acting like this? Because you done put it, uh, <laughs> I'm hearing you done put that, uh, got, got 3,000 on them or something. They don't, What is happening here? Okay, so your person got Trey Song's girl at home. You know I got a girl at home. Probably waiting by the phone. You know I got a girl at home. And if I keep fucking around with you, she'll be gone. Da -da 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 -da. So let's see what this energy is, y'all. What is going on? So somebody might be, be like, okay... Why you acting like that? Okay. So somebody is like, you know I ain't doing nothing or whatever, da, 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 but they really got a girl at home or they're denying. Somebody's trying to make it seem like somebody's being insecure, but they really got somebody else. So I feel like maybe you, Sagittarius, maybe you're like putting into this person and then you're like, wait a minute. Um, I think you doing something, you up to something, and they like, nah, like you tripping, blah 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 blah, but you not tripping because they really got a girl at home or a man at home. What's this 112 anywhere? That nine of wands, the judgment energy got that, got, got three thousand, seven thousand, nine thousand. <laughs> I don't know, Sagittarius. Don't look at me like that. I'm just reading the cards. Because <laughs> you got that go, go. Okay. <laughs> That's why they can't let go. That's why they insecure. Jeez. Woo. <laughs> you got the five of pentacles. Woo. That's why they insecure. Okay, got the Capricorn energy here for Pentacles, man. They 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 immature. They acting immature because they acting insecure because you done put it on them and now they don't know how to let go, y'all. I'm legit for real. That's why this person is like keep coming back. <laughs> back to you or something like or something like that but this is like what the things y'all be doing is like when y'all come out of there i mean you be in the battle zone and then when you come out you be feeling so fresh like they be feeling good like y'all glowing like oh man maybe y'all having flashbacks or something you like man that thing was like a what Nine of Pentacles energy, like this person was like, they're struggling, trying to come to the terms of the fact that like, it's so good with you. Like, yeah, I could be Cuspers, uh, Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cuspers, but uh, that wild side coming out. Okay, what's, what's Bryson Tiller, Insecure Jasmine, so what is this? 
Seven of Pentacles. The page of wands is in reverse. <laughs> the King of Swords is in reverse. I'm hearing that Trey song song. Save it for me. Like, like, do not be giving it to nobody else. This is mine. Now, why are they so demanding? Okay. <laughs> demanding. That's they ain't lying. You be way too controlling. Got me feeling like I can't breathe. I can't even hang with the homies. Ain't no reason not to trust me. What's the page of wands? Three of Cups in reverse. The Nine of Swords is here. And the Ten of Swords. This drives somebody to leave somebody alone, period. Like, it drives somebody crazy. The, the lovers in reverse. Somebody's over it. They looking, they looking for somebody else. What's this uh, girl at home? <laughs> Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh, my God. I'm about to start reading these cards, child. Oh, my God. The sun is here. The Four of Wands is in reverse. You know I got a girl at home. The King of Wands is in reverse. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Double Leo energy. Somebody got a girl at home. And if they keep fucking around with you, she'll be gone. Da 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 da. Mm. Two of Wands here. Somebody trying to keep up with their lives or move forward with their lives. Yes, the moon and the six of cups here. Like, somebody can't let go of their past. But look, what is hidden? Y'all know what I say when I do those readings, those juicy detail readings with the moon and the sun energy being dominant. What is hidden will be revealed. That's the, always the energy with them two come out together. What's the four of wands? The high priestess and the ace of pentacles. And the two of swords, yeah, somebody is keeping a secret, but they're trying to hold on to somebody else. They don't want to make the decision with the two of swords here. It's like more of an indecision. One more thing. So what's the end result of this? What's this girl at home situation? Uh, why are they, why, why are they playing? Why is there... This conflict with this girl at home. Ace of Wands. Oh. Uh, okay. They don't want them. <laughs> the nine of cups. <laughs> In reverse, I mean, I thought they want they want that go go three steps. <laughs> It's funny because it's two of these cards. It's two three of cups, two two nine of wands, and two star cards, and two ten of cups in this deck. But look, they might they want that old thing back, and they they, well, they got that old thing back, and it's back and better than ever or something like that. Cause that person they ain't had it. They want to trade to that person. They ain't got that. They don't get that. Got got that. Got got three thousand. They don't. Okay, okay, it's just something that's like alchemy. It's gushy, it's 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 wet, it's amazing, it's it's out of this world, cloud ten. I mean it's satisfying. And they don't want the person at home. Then why are they still with this person? Three of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups here. And the Hierophant in reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I just get a sense of this person has options and they're making moves or something. I, I, maybe they just stay with this person or something, but I, I get a sense that they're not even interested in this person, but maybe this person isn't just being completely honest about their situation. It may not be everything that it is, but I feel like somebody saying, well, if you got all this going on at home or something like that, why are you in my face or something like that? All right, you guys, let me wrap this up. I'm late for boxing class for my son, so. Let me read this oracle card and I'll let y'all go. Messenger of the Oracle. 
All right, Sagittarius, it says, challenge your perception. It's number five. It says, you cannot challenge an outdated perception or one born from a lack of understanding if you are unwilling to put aside your feelings and beliefs and embrace another's point of view. To do so makes you aware of the whole and stands you up on high where you can see that both parties involved in a dispute can act against an injustice. Both can be right, both can be wrong. And what one may perceive to be harmful may be seen as both healing and beneficial by the other. Hmm. Challenge your perception, you guys. And it says at the bottom, we are all connected, okay? All right, you guys, because somebody might be... Whew, I don't know, y'all. Y'all got a lot going on. Per usual, Sagittarius. But I love it, you know. I love it. All right, y'all. So, y'all already know what it is. Like, uh, Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have, you already know I appreciate you. And so, until next time, holla at a play. We see you in the street, pimp. Bye.